Oh, oh my gosh. What a slippery slope. Oy vey. Oh my gosh. This is so slippery. Oi, shalom. Oh my gosh. Shalom, dear friends. This week I wish you Shabbat Shalom from a slippery slope. I'm trying to navigate this mountain. And as I'm going down the hill, I feel myself sliding lower and lower. I'm losing control. Does that remind you of your life sometimes? Sometimes I look back at my day, at my week, at my month, and I feel like it's just one big slippery slope. I'm trying to move, I'm trying to make progress, I'm trying to get somewhere, and instead I'm sliding lower and lower and deeper and deeper in the slime and into the mud of my own life, of my own struggles. Whether it's my struggles with my weight, whether it's my struggles with my inner demons, for some reason I feel like I'm constantly sliding downwards. And today, I'm here to share with you a beautiful Torah thought. The name of the Torah portion is Bahar, which means on the mountain, reminding us that God chose to give the Jewish people the Torah on top of a mountain. Why a mountain? Why not in the fields? Why not in the flat grounds? Our commentaries teach us such a powerful insight that will really give you inspiration to keep on climbing upwards and onwards. The Torah is teaching us that in life, so often we may feel that we fall off the beaten path and we're sliding downwards. All we need to remember is that if we want to make things better for ourselves, all we need to do is just turn ourselves around and find our way to get back on the beaten path. And once we get back on the right path, all we have to do is go upwards and onwards. Come with me. What I'm trying to tell you is that it doesn't matter how high you're climbing, it doesn't matter how far you're reaching, all that matters is which direction you're going. If you're going upwards, if you're going onwards, if you're going Bahar, if you're going on the mountain, that's all you need. That means you're going in the right direction. I want to conclude my Shabbat message this week with a powerful story that I always share with my students. A young college student once asked the Rebbe in his study, tell me, Lubavitcher Rebbe, am I a good Jew? I look around me, I see so many Jewish people that are so much better than me, so much more righteous, so much more observant. Am I a good Jew? And the Rebbe responded with something so profound and so moving. The Rebbe said, you could have two people on a mountain. One person is all the way on the bottom of the mountain, and the other person is all the way on top, next to the peak. Who is higher? And of course, the student replied, the one on bottom is lower, the one on top is higher. And the Rebbe smiled and said, no, really it depends which direction they're going. If the one on top is going down, and if the one on bottom is going up, then the one on bottom of the mountain is much higher, much greater, much farther than the one who's at the peak. Because my friends, it's not about how high you're reaching. It's not about how much you've accomplished or achieved. It's about which direction you're going. So join me as we embrace a week ahead of going upward, onward, up the mountain. Shabbat Shalom!